Hi there. I'm Foster Coburn, the Cave Creek Geek, and I'm here with James Leonard of Leonard CNC Software. Now, James, first and foremost, what the heck is CNC? I don't think everybody understands what that might be. CNC means Computer Numerical Control, and it's just something that cuts something out of something else under a computer's control. It can be a router, even an engraver, a vinyl cutter. It's just the idea of controlling something that cuts something with, with a computer. And as I understand it, they can be small, but more than likely, they're pretty large machines. Um, they run they run the gamut. I have three small CNC tables. Uh, none of them is bigger than 14 by 20 inches, but that's because I do mother of pearl inlet. My typical customer for my typical tool, which is a DXF tool, has a plasma table that's at least 8, eight by 14 feet, many of them 12 by 24 feet. So, you know, it, it depends. I'm an engineer and that's the only answer you're going to get. Right. <laughs> now the tools you make are at this point all add-ons for real draw and they assist users of these routers to get output correct. Um, yes, the, D the DXF tool deals with the situation where Corel's DXF, while it's technically correct, does not work with the current generation of CNC equipment very well at all. The last version of Corel that really worked was version 9. And I got started writing the DXF tool as something that I pulled out of the CAD CAM program I'm writing called Dragon CNC because a person that I was working with on a forum commented, you know, if you could only make a DXF that worked, that would be a blessing. I said, do you think people would pay money for that? He says, well, I would. So I said, okay, what the heck. I already had the technology embedded inside Dragon CMC, so I abstracted it out, made the first version of the tool, which at that time wasn't a plug-in or an add-in, it was in VBA. And the guy that had tickled me to make it ended up selling it for a year, year and a half. And then I took over the sales uh, after that when his contract expired because it became clear that he was only doing whatever he could serve his own needs, wasn't as it really promoting the product to, right. in the way I wanted. And, and to explain to people what we mean by correct output. Let's think of something like a circle in a vector graphics application. Yes. It's going to have maybe four data points with curves between it, but if Corel Draw exports to DFX, DXF, it turns into a bunch of straight lines, correct? Yeah, yeah Corel does either a spline or a polyline. Um, a lot of CNC software can't read a spline at all. And the polyline consists of a whole bunch of straight line segments that the receiving program is supposed to interpret intelligently and sometimes recreate a curve out of it. I don't think that's reasonable, so in the case of a circle, I just export it as four arcs. Why not? Fantastic. Well, thanks so much for joining the Cave Creek Geek today, and good luck with your software now and into the future. Thank you.